What's good everybody? It's Billy, Billy the Kid, Lord of the Land, and I wanted to do a quick video on a question that, shout out to Taj uh, Nguyen, I see you man, thanks, keep doing your thing. Uh, today he posted a video that uh, somebody, one of his followers asked him saying, should you remove or update a fireplace in rental properties? And his answer basically said, which makes total sense, uh, as far as like what to do with the actual structure. He said to paint the brick, uh, but leave the brick if, if you're gonna rent it. If you're gonna flip it, then he said to put either tile or I would add rock on the actual uh, structure of the fireplace. Now, I think the question though was, should you remove it or update it? And I could see how he did answer by saying paint it. So what I do with mine is I usually cover it with drywall on the actual hole and the reason is because a fireplace is a liability with the insurance company. So I just throw some drywall in the hole, paint it the same color as the wall, whatever color it is that you're doing and call it good. Or another thing you can do is put a digital one that plugs in and kind of fill, it, fill up the gap so it looks even but it, now it's digital so there is no insurance liability. Or third, if you're gonna do a full remodel and it is a rental property, just demo it out, finish the drywall, and just call it good. That's gonna help you save some money and there's not gonna be any accidents. Fires. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media, at Billy the Kid, and shout out to Taj, man, I appreciate it. Thank you, keep doing your thing. Let's get it, vamonos. BillyTheKid.com BillyTheKid.com